In this video, I'll show you how to determine the interquartile range. Starting with a quick definition, the interquartile range is the difference between the third quartile and the first quartile in a data set, giving the middle 50%. The question reads, students kept track of the wait times for two different fast food restaurants. Calculate the interquartile ranges of both restaurants in order to compare waiting times. So the two restaurants that we have is one called Study Force Express Thai and another one called Chicken Enjoy. What I have to do to complete this question is first list my numbers from least to greatest for both of these restaurants. And if you list these numbers from least to greatest, you should end up with two lists that look like this. Notice that the wait times have been listed from least to greatest. So what we have to do is we have to find the median for both of these data sets. And once you have the data separated in the middle, then you will use the left and to the right of the middle and also separate those and find their medians. Here's what I mean. So let's start off by finding the median of this data set. And let's start off by counting the amount of wait times. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So there are 20 wait times. And to find the median, we will add 1 to our 20, divide by 2, that gives us 21 over 2 is equal to 10.5. The 10.5th observation will be our median. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So the observation has to be right there. The median has to be between 7.3 and 7.4. So you find the average, 7.3 plus 7.4, divide that by 2, and you end up with 7.35. This right here represents your second quartile. So your Q2 is 7.35. Next, we have to find Q1 and Q3. Now to find Q1, you'll focus on your first 10 observations. In the middle of the first 10, well, you can do the same calculation, 10 plus 1, is equal to 11 divided by 2 is 5.5 .5. so your q1 will be between 5 and 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so your q1 will be between these two numbers 5.2 plus 3.7 divided by 2 using our calculator 3.7 divide that by 2 and you end up with 4.45 so 4.45 represents your first quartile. And to find your third quartile, well, it's going to be between 15 and 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pretend that's 15. That's your 16th observation. So it's right in between 8.9 and 8.9. Well, it's going to be 8.9. So 8.9 is your Q3. Let me just highlight the things that I just found. Q2, Q1, and Q3. So to find the interquartile range, we have to subtract Q3 from Q1. So I'm going to take 8.9 subtracted by 4.45, and the answer to this represents our range. 8.9 subtracted by 4.45, and this gives us 4.45. To conclude, the average waiting time for Study Force Express is 4.45 minutes. We'll do the same thing now for Chicken Enjoy. Now, Chicken Enjoy also has 20 different wait times. So, our Q2 will be between the 10th observation and the 11th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's the 11th observation. So, we'll take the average. Q2 is equal to... 4.7 plus 4.4 divided by 2 using our calculator dividing this by 2 and that gives us 4.55 similarly we'll do the same thing for the first 10 1 2 3 4 5 and that's your sixth observation so it's between there and for the bottom 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 and we'll be in between there so let's do this calculation, 3.5 plus 3.3 divided by 2, and that gives us 3.4. This will represent your Q1, 
And of course, our Q3 will be 5.8 plus 5.5 divided by 2. And that gives us 5.65. All we have to do now is subtract Q3 from Q1. Our interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1, 5.56 minus 3.4. Subtracting these, we end up with 2.25 minutes. Therefore, this restaurant has a shorter waiting time than the first one. And so there you have it. That is how to determine the interquartile range.